Okay, this is the third video of a series of where we went through two different ways to test your uh, thermometer to make sure it's accurate. This video, I'm gonna tell you what you do if your thermometer is not accurate. It, if, if your thermometer has a recalibration feature, you recalibrate it. If it doesn't, you gotta throw it away. Um, the beastometer, it has a recalibration th feature. So, I'm gonna real quickly, I'm gonna go over what you do. It's easiest to recalibrate with the ice water. With the boiling water, you have a, t a lot of heat coming off and it's hard to really concentrate and see because it starts fogging up. So, once you confirm that it's out of calibration, um, you get your, uh, your ice bath ready again. Um, let it get settled in. We already know that the beastometer is accurate, so I'm still going to show you what to do. Um, once it settles in, you hit the CAL for calibration, the calibration button. It'll say CAL on the screen. The on and off button will lower the temperature. The C and F Celsius Fahrenheit button will raise the temperature. See? It's that simple. You hit calibration again, you're done. You're all recalibrated. It's not something that you have to do all the time, but you should always check it. I don't know. I check mine every couple months just to be safe. And you should always do both tests. Um, and that verifies. If it's off on both tests, you know it's off. If it's only off on one test, you know you might have done the test wrong on one of them. Uh, anyway, again, my name is David Johnson, the owner of Grill Beast Barbecue Accessories down in New Orleans, Louisiana. If you have any questions, come by the website, send me an email. You can find us on Facebook, like us. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.